Bingo! Bottles on beaches or glass litter has become a menace. Bottle waste that forms one third of Goa's beach litter has impacted the island state tourism industry. Now, there has been a ban on carrying glass bottles to beaches. It hasn't implemented it strictly. The bottle menace has irked local residents as well as visitors. They complain of injuries and difficulty in walking on beaches, citing shards of glasses strewn on beaches. Now, taking note of this, Goa government is now planning to bring a scheme that offers incentives to those who collect glass bottle waste from beaches and hand them over to vendors. To understand this better and how do we manage our waste at the beaches, there have been several attempts, efforts, campaigns, but they are not really bearing any fruit. In some cases they have, but still our beaches are dirty and it's important that we save them. I'm joined by Dr. Sunil Pandey, who's Director, Environment and Waste Management, Terry, on the broadcast. Uh, so thank you for making time and speaking to Mirror now. Uh, we're talking about this initiative that the Goa government is planning in order to save the beaches. They are going to incentivize for whoever cleans the beach and takes care of the bottle waste. Do you think such a measure could help arrest the mess that we Indians have created as far as our beaches are concerned and tourists are guilty the most. Thank you, Archana. I think it is a very good move and um, uh, bottles have been creating problem and uh, especially uh, uh, when they get, get broken and uh, as stated earlier, they cause injury to people, can cause injury to people who are there. And these bottles, uh, uh, mostly liquor bottles because uh, uh, the, the beer and uh, other liquors are packed in, mostly packed in uh, glass bottles. Uh, uh, these bottles uh, uh, can be actually collected and can be recycled. And uh, uh, more than recycled, actually, uh, they can also be uh, refilled if, I mean, they're collected intact. And uh, I'm sure many of these uh, breweries and distilleries uh, would be interested in uh, getting uh, their bottles retrieved so that they can... Uh, 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 properly clean and refill them. Uh, and, and it is a great move uh, uh, in collecting, uh, providing incentive for collection of uh, these bottles uh, littered at the beach, beaches in Goa. Okay. I'm also joined by Dr. Alvarino Lewis, who's a senior scientist, NCPOR. Uh, Dr. Louis, thank you for making time and speaking to Miro now. How do you view this development? I'm told that you yourself have been involved in these campaigns as far as cleaning of beaches are concerned. What has your experience been like? Basically, this uh, bottle manancy has been there for many years because when the tourists come, they come for weekend, for weekend vacation in Goa, they drive all the way. They carry the bottles, buy, buy liquor from the shops, and then they find that the beach is an open place where they can really enjoy and you need not have to pay anything to anyone. So that is where they drink, they throw the bottle, they discard it, and then they go for a swim. And then you have a lot of drowning also over there because uh, they, you know, it is a majakaro. So that is the thing. So I think uh, it's where uh, Goa government has done a very good job of cleaning the beaches under a Swatch Bharat Abhiyan. And uh, the beaches are quite clean. When we did, I did a survey along with my PhD student from Goa University, we found that uh, the beaches were relatively cleaner when we visited after 10 o'clock because the staff were involved in cleaning the beaches in the morning. So not only bottles, but we have a lot of plastic coming into the uh, coastal environment because people, tourists carry water, water bottles. They drink there and then they discard. It has become, you know, fake though. So this thing, this attitude has to change. You know, the tourists should, you know, have a complacent attitude to be very cautious and they should know what they're doing because it is somebody's property, open, it's a government thing. But we should take, it's an asset, and we should take care of those assets and we should be responsible. The users of the beach should be responsible for all this mess, okay, rather than pointing out a finger at the government. The government can do what they have, what they are able to do, but every time we cannot do the policing at the beaches. So, so I find that uh, we need to change because the same thing yes. in foreign countries, we don't have any such a, such a manners because the tourists who come there are very much conscious about the, what they are doing and they try to keep the beach clean. So this is what the message I like to give. 
Absolutely. Those are very important points, uh, Dr. Lewis, and uh, thank you so much, uh, Dr. Sunil Pandey, for your valuable time. It all depends on the attitude and uh, as responsible tourists, whenever we go to any uh, beach site, it's not that we dump our trash on the beaches. It is our responsibility to clean it because a lot of people consider that uh, beach site, beach, their house, their home, and we would not want to do that to anyone because it's our place as well and as responsible people we cannot do that to anyone thank you for making time and speaking to me now